Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Are you struggling to pack these Bundesliga Team of the Season cards like I am? Well, EA gave us another opportunity to get our own Bundesliga Team of the Season created via the Evo that they dropped yesterday. It's creating cards that are just as good as these crazy expensive TOTS cards that are in packs. Now, talking about these TOTS prices, they dropped yesterday, but maybe not as much as I thought they were going to. But I think that's because people were waiting to open packs until today. Because those team of the season mixed league cards like Di Maria, Nani, and Conte that have hung around in packs, they're leaving today. And that Cristiano Ronaldo, that Balotelli, and others that we have leaks now for are replacing them in packs today. And I think that might make some prices move. We're going to talk about it today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. And subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's Saturday content. Guys, we had some SBCs yesterday, but honestly, it was underwhelming inside of the SBC section. Our uh, player SBCs that we had yesterday, let's start with the icons first. We had another Bundesliga-esque, right? Bundesliga-related icon SBC. It was Philip Lam. Now, actually, this SBC is great value, in my opinion. This card was 550,000 coins, I think, on the market yesterday before his SBC dropped. And he's coming in right now um, on the market. He's 400,000 coins, but his SBC is 370k. It's only seven squads, which for an icon SBC is not a lot. But I think still, this card at this stage of the game, the SBC is very downvoted. It's 33% upvoted, 67% downvoted, which is kind of crazy in my opinion for how good a value this SBC is for the card on the market. I think what people are looking at this card and seeing is his stats just don't make the meta at this current stage of the game he's not up to par with other team of the season cards that are out which yes of course he got an sbc so his price dropped he was 600k and went all the way down to 320k because his sbc is so cheap and yeah there is a reason to do this sbc if you're a fan of philip lam but i think for most people they're just like yeah where does he fit in my team right now unless it's an emotional player for you and uh, i think that's why his sbc is downvoted i think that's actually a great sbc once again for the value if you want philip Lama your team this card plays really well in game he's I've played against him very annoying to play against but he doesn't have three play style pluses and even some of his stats like 72 shooting and 80 physical on a card in basically May towards the middle to end of the team of the season where cards are really juiced as of right now he doesn't quite fit the bill so I think that is why his SBC is downvoted but I'm going to still give that a thumbs up because if you want that card go ahead and get him at a pretty cheap price now we did have another player SBC yesterday which was expected to be honest but the sbc is for something that's just again kind of mid simicon 87 pace 91 defending 91 physical this is a nice cheap center back for the bundesliga teams maybe you guys are using maybe it's for the cup right if you haven't finished the cup yet or the lounge this card could be really good for you the other problem with this is albeit his defending play styles are great like there's a lot of great things about this card but it's also just like there's a multiple cards in Bundesliga team of the season that are just as expensive as this card on the market, and they're good, just as good or better. Like, if I compare this Simakon to maybe, like, Tapsoba or Jonathan Ta or maybe even Anton, I think I would prefer some of those cards over this SBC. Really, it's for the French links and maybe for a lower-budget Bundesliga linking card that you would need this with those French links uh, in your Ultimate Team squad. But at least it's just 70k and two SBCs to do. Three star, three star as well. A lot of defenders at this stage of the game at least have a four or a five star weak foot. So I would count that as a bit of a downgrade as well. But again, you look at the play styles. He's got ping pass plus, which is nice. Slide tackle and intercept. He's got every single defensive play style. So we can't complain too much there. It's just, it's a cheaper SBC that really doesn't make a lot of our teams. So I understand, again, uh, the 33% upvote and 67% downvote on the Simicon SBC. It's not bad, theoretically. It's just not great. It's just kind of mid, right? So that's kind of the situation with player SBCs. So far, guys, with the player SBCs, you could vote that Sané was good, and he is solid, right? I'm still not sure what to do with this Sané SBC, but comparing last week's Prem SBCs to this week's Bundesliga so far... Prem is clear. No contest. Now let's talk about upgrade packs because 
We got an upgrade pack yesterday, but not the one that I don't even know if we were thinking of. The 80 th 86 times two, three times per day. Um, guys, I don't like this pack, man. I don't know what it was yesterday with SBCs. They were just kind of disappointing, right? The player SBCs, okay. Uh, this SBC as well, albeit I do have a ton of fodder in my club. But the reason I have a ton of fodder in my club is because I've been doing exchange grind. And I've been rinsing into the 84 times sevens that we had last week. And the 84 times sevens, of course give you those seven cards and uh now that's escaping us we're not going to be able to get as many cards from the grind from the craft of doing that sbc for the upgrades and we're stuck here getting 286s which yes does give you a really good chance at packing a team of the season card and we do like that all right we love that we love the chance at packing something big but at the same time turning in two squads of players or two walkouts and, you know, a slight chance of a blue. I haven't opened any of these yet. I'm going to open one right now, save the other two for today and the, the other cards that are coming out. I just don't love this SBC, man. Um, I don't know. Let's open it. Let's see what happens. I haven't opened any packs yesterday. See, first one I do, not even a blue. Uh, probably Pedri in that pack, right? Pedri and Bernardo Silva. So, boom, another exchange pack for me because there's no SBCs that I really want to do right now. I think that sums up the menus, guys. It just is not as hype as last week was for prem tots with the player sbcs that we had the upgrade sbcs that we had still again the exchange grind is great the 81 plus player picks are insane and even this 86 double we're all still doing this let's be honest because we want a chance at those team of the season cards it's just gonna be more difficult to craft anything through the menus this week because you're going to be running out of those 83s and 4s because you don't have an 8310 or an 84 times 7 supplementing your club all the time unless you're just hammering player picks or upgrade packs to get those into your club to do these so that's a little bit annoying if i'm being completely honest um but at least it is a chance at packing higher rated team of the season cards and just higher rated cards in general so there is a little bit of a silver lining there. One thing is, if you invested in 85s, uh, 85s exploded. All these are 4K plus, and they were like in the 2,000 coin range yesterday because the one SBC of the 86 double requires two 85s. So GG's, um, if you invested in any of those. I think it's just the whole fodder market's having a bit of a higher floor this week. Remember last week, 88s were 8K. They're already still 11 this week after being 9K on Friday. I think there's a bit of a higher floor because all the good SBCs, they came out during prem tots and so many people now don't have saved up packs to open to get a bunch of fodder to go into sbcs so they're going and having to buy that fodder instead so that's a little bit of a fodder update um there as well really there wasn't a whole lot of movement on fodder except for the 85 sixes sevens and eights just going up a little bit in value uh, they're probably going to continue to go up during this next week with more player SBCs and uh, more upgrade SBCs to come as well. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. Now, let's go to the evolution. Honestly, guys, this was the biggest W of yesterday's content. Um, it is a mid medium-sized W, I would even say. Like, this is a really nice Evo. Really nice Evo, guys. But the problem is... Not many cards fit this because it's only Bundesliga specific. And if you're not hyped about the Bundesliga in itself, it's really not an Evo that you're probably wanting to do. If you still have this Dina and Bimbe in your club from Future Stars, this is one that I think is worth doing. Like, look at the state of this Dina and Bimbe. I, yeah, I know he's a three star, four star, which is not great. But those stats 96 pace, 92 passing, 93 dribbling, and 91 physical with um, pinged pass technical plus and first touch and uh very good other play styles he's got rapid he's got press proven anticipate so this card i've heard has been cracked for other people that have evoed him so that's a good shout there uh brian is a decent shout but really the best shout to this evo is if you're like yo nate i'm trying to get a goretzka in my team i want the new tots goretzka can't get him because he's still extinct and ea have not updated the price range if you can get your hands on a gold goretzka you can create a card that is almost just as good as the Tots. It's not quite as good, right? The Tots is 95 rated. This one's 93. But this is a free Evo with a ton of playstyles and playstyle pluses being given out. The fact that you can't have any playstyle pluses to put a card in this Evo is a bit of a bummer. This Kingsley Coman looks insane. Five star, four star. I know the Tots is five, five. But look at those playstyle pluses. Those might even be on par or better than the playstyle pluses that his actual Tots card card has those are insane stats as well um the technical plus on that 95 dribbling would be insane for Coman. Danielle Malin this one is like a clear 
I think this version right here with the five star weak foot and the play style pluses that he has, I think this one's better than the team of the season, hands down. It's not an amazing card, but if you're able to get a gold Milan or if you have one in your club, um, of course, all these gold cards that are worth doing are extinct at 10k on the market. So be very careful with that. There's a couple of informs that go in here as well that look pretty saucy. So if you get lucky in like an 83 plus pick with Milistat or Major, um, they look pretty saucy on that Evo as well. So it's a good Evo. But guys, like some of the Evos that we had earlier on in Team of the Season, like this Moment of Truth Jesus Freda that I'm still in the middle of creating right now. Look at the state of this, man. Like we need more Evos. I keep saying this, but we need more Evos that are getting us to cards like this that we can put a lot of our players into that give big boost. This Moment of Truth Evo is the best evolution of Tots so far. It really is. Like Tots plus Protector, Protector, that one was decent. The Premier League Tots one, mid. Tots upgrade series, okay. Like we need more Evos like the Moment of Truth Evo with big stat boost. Give us one for defenders. Like that's the sort of evolution content that we need. It still needs to pop off in Evos during team of the season it started off great and it's kind of been slow since then i think it's going to pick back up maybe that's going to be something where they turn up the heat and the hype with evos later on during team of the season uh but at least right now it feels like we're coasting again after the first evo that was insane this one feels like we're coasting a little bit inside of the evo section on this game it's just a matter of time i guess until those come out now let's talk about the biggest problem which is not even content related on this game right now the biggest problem yesterday is that everybody who was trying to play the game kept getting kicked off of the game now i was really not playing any games yesterday uh but i kept hearing about on oh, planet trying to play my champs games and i keep getting dcs disconnected is what that means if you're experiencing that seems like almost everybody was yesterday don't exactly know what the cause of it was they tweeted this right before content yesterday that they're investigating reports of players experiencing instabilities in FC24. We will provide an update in this thread when available. Well, they provided an update. It wasn't in this thread. One of the actual um, producers, that's not the right word, game developers himself tweeted out that uh, FC24 players that were experiencing errors... They just made a change that they hope will improve things, but you must restart your console and game to get the change. And if you're still getting errors, then of course, let him know. This is at Dunin and Dragons on Twitter. Um, yeah, guys, so I guess restart your game and it's going to be fixed. But basically, maybe like seven to 10 hours yesterday. This tweet was 10 hours ago and three hours ago they tweeted about this, but it was happening multiple hours before they tweeted about it. I guess a lot of people right now are calling for EA to extend the weekend league because right now they feel like um, champs was unplayable and they lost more games than they should have been because of those disconnects that were happening, which to be fair, if there were disconnects that were going around and you guys like kept playing, I probably would have said, nah, like stop playing. It's not worth it. I understand that some people have limited time to play champs. I get all that. Right. And it is annoying. Um, and a lot of people are calling for the extension of foot champs because of this but i'm going to be completely honest i would be surprised if ea extend foot champs because it's already like five freaking days long from friday to tuesday you can play games um i don't think they're going to extend champs guys i even think this might have happened last year at one point during uh, a team of the season week and they did not extend champs just because it was out for so long last year like it is this year so i would be surprised if they actually do that but i just wanted to bring that up because uh i was luckily not playing any games yesterday but i know some of you guys didn't even start playing your games because you were like nah everybody's getting disconnects i don't want to be playing games when this is going on and i actually think that is going to impact the market today a little bit now let's talk market let's talk prices because the last part of content that happened yesterday was ea dropped the 750 tradable and the 725,000 coin packs in the store let me go rip this bernardo silva into a cheeky exchange pack really quick so i can go to the store and look at those packs and remember last week and even in last night's video we were saying like hey guys watch out for the market after they drop the tradable 750k packs the market dropped for sure and prices of the bundesliga team of the season players dropped for sure but they didn't really drop as much as they did for the prem tots players last week when this pack came out but i think it's just because a there's less hype for this pack and these players right now and b i think a lot of people were waiting to open this whether it's the tradable pack or the 725k until we get the big man christiano ronaldo in packs 
today. I mean, I'm not opening this store pack, the Bundesliga Tots Trio guaranteed, until we get um, those new cards out today. You might as well wait, right, for those new cards that are coming out. Let's quickly look at some of these prices because, oh yeah, they dropped a lot. I sold Marco Royce yesterday. We, we bought some cards right before the video, right? I bought Marco Royce yesterday for like 1.03, 1.04, 105. I was able to sell one. It is peak right here, like 1.17. The other ones I broke even on. Um, he went all the way down to 904, but you can see that cards actually around content were low and then they bounced back up. He went back to 970. He was just all the way down to like 820K. I picked up one and now he's bouncing back up. But if you look at a lot of the rest of the cards in this team like uh let's look at javi simons i just picked up two of him at like 345 as well yesterday he dropped drop 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 as expected around content hit a low point of 360 went back to 400 um so there was kind of a rebound yesterday instead of the tots cards just continuing to drop off a ton like they did last week and i really think it's because there's just not as many people opening this 750,000 coin pack for these cards that seem unpackable but it also doesn't make sense in a sense because if you look at this team of players if you pack somebody expensive like Musiala, Verts, Frimpong, Kane, Royce, uh, Goretzka, Upmakano, Davies, Grimaldo like if you hit a big card in Bundesliga Tots you're packing somebody who is going to make you profit off of this pack especially if you had a Ronaldo and a Balotelli potentially in packs today that are going to be expensive you know, I'm not saying to gamble to try to make coins on this pack. I'm saying there's a greater chance of you profiting off this Ultra Tots guarantee this week than there was last week, in my opinion. I know there's a lot of co cards last week that were around a million coins as well. And I know the pack weight's going to be abysmal. Like, it's going to be terrible, guys. Let's be honest. But all I'm saying is if you get lucky, you're getting lucky with a bigger coin balance on some of these top tier Tots cards. So, I don't know if I'm going to open the tradable one, but I will be opening the 725k pack, if not once, maybe twice during the week this week, because your boy has to get a chance at packing Harry Kane, who is still five freaking million coins in this market, which still does not make sense to me. It is absolutely crazy. Now, again, as I mentioned, I just picked up a couple of Tots cards because um, I saw their fluctuations getting really, really low. I picked up two Javi Simons at 345, um, and I picked up a Marco Royce. I think Royce is already bouncing back. Again, there's a lot of people that want to use this Marco Royce card. He's 912K, 917. Um, I don't think he goes too much higher than this. So I'm going to list 910 and take my nice profit there. That's literally almost 100,000 coins up from where I bought him. And uh, if I can get this Javi Simons again at 345 to 350, I might try to pick one or two more up because hopefully he goes back up to like 390 today. That'll be kind of the hope. But I'm going to trade with these cards a little bit less today on Sunday than I did because again I think people are going to start opening packs again today and there's going to be more hype for that with the Ronaldo and others that are going to be in packs once content hits today for sure now I've been speaking about this Ronaldo and these players let's talk about Sunday today team two of the mixed league release of team in the season starting off with the official stats these are all official stats leaks guys for Balotelli this is the card we're getting today. Trickster Plus, which is actually a W for Balotelli. Uh, Energizer Plus, Relentless, and Technical Plus. 94 dribbling, 91 pace, uh, and 90 shooting, 96 physical. Actually, when I look at this card, I don't think he's going to be too much more than like, I don't know, 500k. The moments cards uh, seem to be more supplied as well. If you take a look at like all of the, the team of the season leagues so far, even the mixed league cards... <laughs> A few moments later. Excuse me there. All right, back to what we were saying. I do think these Team of the Season Moments cards are a bit more packable than regular Tots cards. I don't think he's going to be too much more than like three to 400K. Maybe he's a bit more expensive than that today, just for the first day and for the hype and all that. But I think he's going to be somewhere around there. Let's move on and take a look at a few more cards because there are some more. Veerman is going to be in Tots Mixed League 2. Incisive, Dead Ball, and over the top through ball plus uh some more air to busy links maybe if you're using honchko or if you're using dest i really enjoy dest like i think i bought him for 30k he hasn't left my club he's so good and this veerman card would link to him today not a terrible one 97 passing is pretty crazy pepe is getting a team of the season moments card this card i bet he's gonna be cheap 86 pace 91 defending 98 physical though wow um he's got aerial bruiser and the energizer plus play style as well 
interesting. I was really hoping he would have Anticipate, but it looks like EA didn't want to make this card super crazy. He looks decent, though, but he's going to be cheap for sure. And Mares is the latest card leaked official stats for him. He's got Whipped Pass Plus Technical and First Touch. That card looks insane. All right, that's kind of like a Di Maria level boost. Oh my gosh, 93 shooting and passing, 97 dribbling with technical plus, and 95 pace. And potentially, I would have to say either 5-4 or 5-5, right? What is Mares? Is he 5-5 five, five base? I know he's five-star skills. What's the weak foot here? As Footpin loads the card. I, you know what? I've kind of forgotten about Mares' special cards uh, since he has left the Premier League in Manchester City. And I guess Footpin doesn't want to load his cards. I don't Yeah, Footpin, dude, the servers on FC are mudded. The servers on Footpin are kind of mudded too. Mares' foot birthday is 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, they, they got to give him 5-5 uh, five, five on this card as well for sure. So that's one to watch out for today. He's going to be expensive. And then we also have Tadic. He is coming as a team of the season with Flair, Trivella, and Technical Plus. So some Super League action there. And then Cristiano Ronaldo. This is the official Ronaldo card for Tots. Aerial Plus, Quick Step Plus, and Power Shot. He is going to be broken. All right. If Harry Kane's card is five and a half million coins, this card by five should probably be six to seven mil, especially because he's going to be super rare too. So. That's a crazy card. He's going to be coming out today. And again, I was waiting for today to open some of those crazy store packs and some of my 86 doubles just to have the chance at packing him. So that is the Mixed League 2 that is coming out today. These cards, Di Maria, Nani, Conte, they are going out of packs. I mean, to be completely honest, do I think many of these will rise? Probably not. Um, maybe Conte, maybe Di Maria, maybe Nani. Those are just the hype cards out of this squad. Maybe Dest a little bit as well because he's a cheap beast. But really what I would do, the smart thing to do is, you know, stock a Bonza, stock a Dewsbury Hall, put one of those in the club for a fodder investment and then forget about it and see their prices in like two or three weeks probably go up like 5K. That'll probably be what happens. So that's the Mixed League Tots coming today. Other content coming today. Remember how we talked about an 84.5 from the Bundesliga? EA changed the code. They made the pack worse. Are they literally just trying to make this week of tots worse than other weeks? I don't know. But they went from an 84.5 to an 83.7 to copy the Premier League. Why not just go with the 84.5, man? I don't know. I hope this 83.7 comes today to at least give us a pack that gives us a chance at the Bundesliga tots cards. May I remind you, this is the pack that I got last week for Prem Sonaldo out of. So I will be opening every single one of these to give myself a chance at Harry Kane, Verts from Pong, Musiala, all that stuff. Royce as well. So I would definitely open that 83 times 7. It's probably going to be completable like once every other day though. But that would be an upgrade pack that I could expect to see in the game today since it did not drop yesterday. Now today on Sunday, we're probably getting a player SBC again too. The question is, will it be good? Will it be meta? Could it be a women's card actually? Because we had Simicon and we had... um. You know, Sane, I guess we also had Anyomi uh, dropped Friday as well. Could be a women's card today. Could also be another hero or an icon related to the Bundesliga. I think it's going to be a player SBC. I just don't know where it's going to be. Last Sunday, we had Saliba. We have had so many center backs recently. EA, can we get some like right backs or left backs, midfielders, attackers, something else? Like we've had so many center backs, man. So I don't know who we're going to be getting today. Again, they seem to be going with the icon and hero route as uh, mentioned here in the menus. But uh, I would expect to see some sort of player SBC. And then, of course, we know the schedule, right? This is a hero player pick Sunday, unfortunately, guys, because the icon player pick is going away. It's probably going to be a hero player pick that comes back today unless they're going to keep uh, the icon around. I doubt that they will. But it just looks like the menus are set up to be less hype this week than last week, which is maybe what EA wants. I mean, think about it, honestly. If we have La Liga or League One coming next, nobody really knows. The website still says um, two different things. Um, they maybe want to build the hype more for that and keep this week a little bit subdued, but still try to sell packs at the same time with Ronaldo and stuff out there and Harry Kane and those juiced cards. But it's feeling a lot less hype this week for the second week of team of the season. Maybe EA has something else up their sleeve today that they're going to pull off. And uh, also, could you also just update price ranges, EA? Price range updates would be phenomenal because we still have some of the most hype cards in these two teams. The Bundesliga Tots 
like Goretzka um, and Openda extinct, as well as the front Bundesliga Pop, Pajor, and Stanway. And the more and the longer these cards are extinct, especially the ones that are at higher price ranges, like Goretzka and Openda. How much is Openda's price range? Is it like 1.9? No, he's 550. That's still, I think, a little too cheap. But the longer that these go without being upgraded, the more that I'm worrisome about them. I'm not worried about Stanway for sure. She's going to be way more than 290K. But whenever they do update these prices, I do want to say this to you guys. Whenever they up update Stanway's price, and probably same thing with Openda, there is going to be a flood of listings on the market as people who snipe these cards will get listing to try to sell and sell. And inside of that first 30 minutes to an hour of their price ranges getting updated, there will be a low point that you will probably be able to buy into and see the card rise up from there because people will be selling mass listing, but then everybody else will realize, oh my goodness, this card's on the market. It's getting too cheap. Let's buy it. I want to go try it because all the cards that are extinct are insane. So that's one quick tip I want to give you is, if you're paying attention to those cards, pay attention today because there will be opportunities to make some profit. So that's the Sunday outlook for today on this game. And uh, yeah, today's a big day for store packs, upgrade packs, and Christian Ronaldo, the team of the season, guys. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions again. And subscribe if you are new. I will see you guys in a video tomorrow. It's from Nathan Foot Accountant. Peace out.